This is Twit. Project Volterra is here. It came out. Woohoo! Yep. Looks good too. Five five hundred ninety nine dollars. This is yep. the de the um, development kit mini right. yep. kind of like a mini computer, like a Mac Mini yeah. kind of, right? Yeah. It's called Windows Dev Kit twenty twenty three. Is the official name has a Snapdragon eight CX generation three in it. It has thirty two gigs of RAM, five twelve gig storage, Wi Fi six, Ethernet, three USB A's. Two USB C's, one mini display port. That's what you get. So you can hook it up to your monitor. This is that's a lot of computer for that much money. That's it is. that's the most recent version of the Snap. It's not a. I thought it was going to be one of those. Um, what do you call it? Like a six series Snapdragon processor. No, this is the flagship. Yeah. Oh, it but is. It's good. Right. Um, so this is aimed at developers. Like Microsoft is trying to get mm -hmm. developers to buy this so that they can bring their apps natively to ARM, Windows on ARM. Uh, they can build them, test them, run them. Uh, a lot of people who are not developers are interested in this and buying it. So my point is, I don't. If you're just, if you're an enthusiast, sure, I say yes. Like if you want to play around with this, if you're anybody who's not an enthusiast, a normal person, do not buy this. The Windows on <laughs> ARM is not ready. It is absolutely not ready. Like let's just be so clear. It's so not I, here yet. I considered doing this podcast on that laptop, which is based on the same chipset. And then I I was like, you know, I, I don't yeah. like I have enough problems. I'm in a different country. My connectivity is yeah. not that great. Yeah. I'm going to add like another wrench into this bike wheel, you know? Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to. Don't think no. of it as a wrench. Think of it as a playing card, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> right. Did yeah. you buy one? Or no, no, but I, no, uh, no. It's I tempting, can't, isn't it? But it it's is tempting. I, this, it's a good looking computer. Right now. This yep. would be the way Looks to go nice. if you wanted to see what Windows on ARM was like, I guess. Right. Except for but. one thing. So what are the big advantages <laughs> there, right? It's supposed to be the battery life and the touch stuff. and Exactly. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. It's kind of a tough thing. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, the ThinkPad I just reviewed, <laughs> I don't remember off the top of my head, but it's, it's north of a thousand yeah. bucks to start. You know, it's yeah. going to screen. It, it, right. So I, I was talking to Rich Turner, who's at Microsoft who's doing a lot of work on this device. Like it's his baby pretty much, right? Like oh, wow. he, okay. he's out there like defending it, answering questions about it. Mm -hmm. And I just said to him, okay, he kept saying, we're going to change your mind. I said, okay, change my mind. <laughs> like why, like why do you think a normal person would want this? He goes, well, no, no, actually no. It's not for normals. Yeah, it's sure. for developers mostly well, and for enthusiasts who want to kick the tires of Windows on ARM at this point. The smartest thing they did was it, it comes with 32 gigs of RAM, which is crazy. Right. Um, yeah. I think the laptop I have is probably 16, which I think is about right because you need extra yeah. memory for emulation and, you know, to kind of help overcome some of the performance stuff. This thing will run Visual Studio soon. There's a, it will run it now in yeah. preview. There's a, mm -hmm. a preview version of Visual Studio, full Visual Studio that has fewer workloads, but it does all the C sharp stuff. Like if you want to do Windows forums and WPF and UWP, it does all that. So if you want to do desktop yeah. development, it's there and I, C++ too, I'm sorry. And um, I mean, I've tried it. It works. It seems to work fine. It's not like I'm creating like a web browser with it or whatever. But um, yeah. but no, yeah, just, I mean, I sure. I'm just going to say if what else happened this week on the hardware front was all the reviews started hitting of the Surface Laptop 5 and the Surface Pro 9 devices. Some people got the ARM based Surface Pro yeah. 9. Some got yeah, the yeah. Intel. More got the ARM than the Intel. Without a, with <laughs> almost without exception, the people yeah, running the ARM one were like, "This thing's not ready." Like, yeah. the Microsoft yep. thinks this is ready, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I um, yeah, no, I came to the same conclusion. I didn't get the Surface yeah. Pro Nine, but I, like I said, I've got the ThinkPad, and it's like yeah. you know, it's definitely better than it's ever been. Yeah. There's no doubt; right. it's noticeable. Everybody says that. Yep, but everybody says. There's that. also those things where you you alt tab and nothing happens, and you wait and you wait, and it finally yeah. comes up, or you click in a browser tab, and then the window kind of freezes up. Yep. You wait and it comes back, you know, but it's, or yeah. you're launching app, app launching is the worst. Like if you have a, an emulated yeah. app, you the little picture comes up with the app and you wait and you wait and you wait. And, yeah. It's just, no, it's, I, I was, I was like railing about this on Twitter this week and somebody said to me, I'm using an ARM based windows laptop and mm -hmm. it works great. I'm getting like 26 <laughs> hours of battery. I'm like, okay, explain how, how are you doing yeah, no, that? You're and out, you're like, out of your mind. Well, That's absolutely not well the um, screen brightness <laughs> is at 30% and I'm not have. I don't have any tabs open in my browser. I'm like, oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, right, <laughs> like not right. a real world use for me, maybe for some people. Right? 
Yeah, you, this is this is actually the Windows version of the thing I was describing with the iPad earlier, where you're trying to contort a device, yeah. in this case a PC, to behave like a single tasking laptop. Yeah. And it's yeah. it's like you can do that, I guess, but mm-hmm. I isn't yep. there's already a tool that does this really well, and it doesn't have to single task, and yep. it's less expensive, <laughs> and it's called an iPad. And there's a reason they sell so many of them because they really just yeah. work. Yeah. You know. Anyway, it's anyway, not horrible. I, think I don't it's mean to cool. say it like that. It's, it's cool. It's better than it's it. ever been. Yeah, it's good for right. developers. It's great. It's great for developers who think yeah. there is some viability at some someday. There, this platform will be interesting. It's not today. It's, someday. Well, the prop. <laughs> yeah. So the problem is, you can flick a switch in Visual Studio and target ARM in addition to x86 mm-hmm. and x64, but it doesn't tell you how it performs. You you need to get the thing in the debugger and see where the holdups are, and it, it, having that native device is important and I bet most people people will play with it but the reality is they're not gonna sit there and use it day to day they're gonna yeah. remote it the app onto that thing and then use it just for that app to see what it looks like I, I think that's how most people are gonna do it because you still have to see how the app works on your you know on the most important platform right. which is x64 so yeah. it's it's really just a device to kind of add to your network with a screen you know or maybe not with a screen probably with a screen and yeah. use it that way I would imagine Mm-hmm. Um, but it's, and then on that note, it's a powerful computer. It's less expensive than a laptop. Most of them, although you could probably buy a cheap laptop that would have the, that low end chipset, which no one should ever buy. Um, so I think it makes sense. It looks great too. It's yeah. a nice, looks, looks like a nice computer. It looks computer. really nice. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's no SIM it. card, I bet. That's the other thing with these, um, <laughs> well, the windows and arm device. No, seriously, think about it. It's multi-touch pen, potentially. Laptop form factor, battery life, and then um, cellular connectivity, which is something you really don't see. That's in, in that. Ever. That's in that box. No, it's not. It's what oh. I'm saying. These are the things that's missing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's not a device to be used. People no, no. who buy it's for developers. Right. It's for developers. Yeah. That's it. Right. Is. That's right. It's called the Windows Dev Kit. That's the name of this yeah. machine, right? Right. <laughs> yep. Oh, although I, I guess you could argue uh, a developer might want to be playing with LTE or something. I don't know. Well, that's actually, that's one of the things I'm kind of thinking here. So you're a developer and you're targeting ARM, depending on the app. I mean, I think the goal is we have millions of apps out in the world that run on x64, x86. We want them to run effectively on ARM. We want them to use that, I can't forget the name of it, EC something, the x64, the technology that lets you get into an x64 project, add ARM code to it to fill in the gaps rather than starting over from scratch with ARM, right? It's, Mm -hmm. it's a... Kind of a halfway house between you know full native arm and full native x64 so you want them to do that and you have to have something to do it on you know to see that but you i don't like i said you can't just check a box like you have to make sure it runs it's not enough just it, the apps already just run we know that um they have to run well but the problem is the people using these apps are going to have touch screens laptops lte or 5g maybe pens and there's no way to test that stuff on this particular device. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a cheap way to get it done, but it's maybe not the full experience. It's not bad. You're going to buy one. I, think I know you're going to buy one. <laughs> he will. I do, I do want, I do yeah, want one. <laughs> I, do, I do want one. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> yep. Don't miss all about Android every week. We talk about the latest news, hardware, apps, and now all the developer goodness happening in the Android ecosystem. I'm Jason Howell, also joined by Ron Richards, Florence Ion, and our newest co-host on the panel, Wen Tu Dao, who brings her developer chops. Really great stuff. We also invite people from all over the Android ecosystem to talk about this mobile platform we love so much. Join us every Tuesday, all about Android on twit.tv. 